I'm going to show you three artifacts that seem to defy evolution. All right, let's see it. This was found in 1912 in a coal mine. It was in a large piece of coal. It broke open. This is a replica of that cup. That's the original cup. What's an iron cup doing in coal? So this is an unprovenanced artifact of absolutely zero archaeological import. Uh, it was not discovered in C2. It was not discovered in a coal mine. The group that puts this on display establishes its provenance or attempts to do so by putting on display a letter written in 1948, 36 years after the ostensible discovery of this item. And according to that letter, it was discovered in an electrical factory. And the person who discovered it promptly broke the cup loose and then says they tracked the coal down to a specific coal mine. But we have absolutely no idea what it looked like and what it was embedded in. We just have this letter, again, written 36 years after the fact. And there are a number of ways to account for how a cup could appear to become embedded within what looked like coal. Mineralization can take place quite quickly, particularly if there's water present. So this thing could have been embedded in some loose coal and that mineralization could have formed around uh, that loose coal to make it seem like it was embedded in coal. Uh, if there was pressure applied to a bunch of loose coal in which this cup was embedded for many years, it could also create the illusion of a single chunk of coal with this cup embedded in it. But we have have no idea because we have absolutely no indication how it looked or what it was embedded in. We just have this claim from 36 years after the fact and this misrepresentation by the person making this video. This right here is the London Hammer. Here is the original. What's interesting about this is it's encased in alluvial stone. So this is another unprovenanced artifact with no association whatsoever to any rock formation and the notion that this is alluvial rock is 100% fabrication. This was discovered loose on the surface by some people hiking by a riverbed and this is a limey rock concretion. This can take place very rapidly. This particular artifact right here, I kind of panned at one time thinking it was kind of, well, you know, until I saw the CAT scan. This was found in limestone, which means it's 100 million years old, which it couldn't be because humans weren't that far back. But if people died in the worldwide flood, then this would be encapsulated in limestone. They believe that this is a woman's finger to someone who is over six feet tall. So this is another unprovenanced artifact that was claimed to have been discovered loose among some gravel that had been quarried from a nearby quarry. So there is absolutely nothing that establishes provenance or age here. And there's absolutely nothing that establishes this is in any way, shape or form a human finger, apart from the fact that it kind of reminds this person of a finger. Additionally, uh, the notion that you can determine the sex of an individual from a fossilized, deformed finger of theirs is absolutely laughable. That's not how archaeology works. So these claims are just pure fabrication just to make it sound like this is more interesting than it really is. Not one of these three artifacts was found in C2. Not one has any firm provenance. Not one has a firm date. And not one of these artifacts challenges any academic consensus regarding the age of humanity or the timelines regarding the invention of tools.